All right, what is going on, guys? My name is Brian, but you guys can call me Mr. Creations. And the gameplay you're watching in the background right now, obviously using the Honey Badger Grip and Silencer, Party Rock, or not Party Rock, wow, 1987 camo. And it's looking pretty good. I went 24 and 1 here, so failed Chem Strike. Hopefully, you enjoy the Call of Duty Ghost. I know I don't upload Ghost very often anymore um, since my Roads Commander series has been out. And let me know in the comment section down below. It seems like you guys are really receiving my Roads Commander series very well. And I do apologize for the rage in that series because I'm a rager when I play Call of Duty, man. If you guys couldn't tell already, I rage very hard at COD. But then again, who doesn't nowadays? But uh, anyway, so this Top 5 Tuesday is actually going to be about my Top 5 Favorite Movie Series. And uh, I did my top five favorite movies, but those are standalone titles. So this week is going to be my top five favorite movie series. And to be considered a series on my list, it has to have three movies in the franchise, not just two, because that would be considered a sequel. So anyways, number five on this list is actually going to be the Jason Bourne trilogy. Obviously, they came out with the fourth one, The Bourne Legacy, uh, in like 2011 or 2012, pretty recently. But The Bourne um, Supremacy Legacy... Or not Legacy, The Bourne uh, Ultimatum and Supremacy. I forget the name of the first one. Uh, the three films with Matt Damon were absolutely phenomenal. I love that series to death. Great films. Matt Damon was the perfect guy for that that series, and I just absolutely love the Bourne the Bourne series altogether. Great film. It was kind of more. It reminded me more of a realistic James Bond. Is basically what that that series was. It was a realistic James Bond, and they did a great job with that with Matt Damon. But anyways, moving on to number four on this list is actually going to be Batman, and the trilogy I'm talking about is the one with Christian Bale, obviously, the one that I've seen in my lifetime. All the other ones were, you know, early 90s, late 80s, stuff like that. So uh, anyways, Christian Bale, a lot of people didn't like him as Batman, but myself personally, I think Christian Bale, I wouldn't say he's a great, amazing actor, but I think he did a really good job at the Batman series that he did and my favorite one of the three films that he did was just the original Dark Knight the second film uh, I think Heath Ledger was probably honestly one of the best super evil villains I've ever seen in any movie to be completely honest with you guys it's sad that he passed away I think he could have made a lot of great movies but uh, anyways it's it's unfortunate so anyways number four or number four wow number three on this list is actually gonna be the Fast and Furious franchise obviously Paul Walker Vin Diesel a lot of other actors in these films again um, it's unfortunate it seems like a lot of these films that I have that I love these series in a lot of the actors are dying recently which is really really kind of sad it's a weird coincidence but anyways, the Fast and the Furious franchise, my favorite movie in that series, which is probably going to be surprising to you guys, was Tokyo Drift, the third one. And uh, I, I loved Han and all the characters in the third one. And I also love drifting. My favorite, I mean, my favorite car is the Nissan 370Z. If you guys don't know what that is, look it up. It's a really, really cool car. But uh, that's one of the reasons why I loved uh, Tokyo, Fast and Furious, Tokyo Drift. That was a great film. But the whole franchise together is an amazing franchise. And the seventh one, if I'm not mistaken, is coming out later this year or next year. So I'm looking forward to that. But anyways, number two on this list is actually going to be the Lord of the Rings franchise, the original three that came out in the early 2000s. These movies are absolutely phenomenal. They teach you so much friendship, you know, loyalty, honor. So many things in these movies that they teach you as well as just amazing acting and for the time amazing special effects. I mean Peter Jackson is an absolute phenomenal great director and he did not put that series to shame. He did a great job with the Lord of the Rings series and he's doing a really good job with the Hobbit series as well. I've seen the first two obviously. I'm looking forward to the third one coming out this year, later this year, this December. But uh, anyways, moving to number one on my list was a huge part of my childhood. It was actually a decade of my childhood. And uh, that's actually going to be Harry Potter. Now, I know a lot of people are like, oh my god, man, you're so lame. Keep in mind, guys, when Harry Potter, the first one, came out, I was six years old. And that's what I went and saw because I was a little kid. And I grew up with it. Obviously, the first episode, or first movie was in 2001 and the last one was in 2011. So from six years old to 16 years old, that was my childhood. That was my favorite movie series. Daniel Radcliffe, um, so many great actors in that movie. Uh, not even trilogy, series, really. There were eight films and... Uh, 
it's my childhood, man. I think a lot of nostalgia makes me pick that series as well as great acting and just an amazing, phenomenal storyline. So that's my top five movie series of all time. Hopefully you guys found it interesting and enjoyed it. Uh, some of these series might have shocked you, like the Jason Bourne series. Not a lot of people know about that, which is kind of surprising to me. Uh, more people definitely know about Batman and Lord of the Rings and those other films. But anyways, nonetheless, like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, remember to smash that like button. I would appreciate it so much. And I will see you guys in my next video.